Welcome back guys. Today I want to take a look at this light here. It is a Mod Light PL350. So this is a Gen 2 body with a PLH V2 head. So when I first got this light back in October of 2023, it is now February of 2024. So that's about five, six months, depending on the actual time it's been. So since I, when I first got this light, Gen 1 body, with a OKW head. Since then, I've had to ship parts back to Mod Light, have them ship me new parts back for reasons I'll get to in a minute. So when I first got this, worked great for the first 500 to 1,000 rounds. OKW head was awesome, had great candela, could punch out a couple hundred yards. It's what I wanted. About that 500 to 1,000 round mark, started having battery performance issues, or not battery issues, but started having flickering issues where I wasn't getting that performance I wanted. So I contacted Mod Light. They said it's probably the Gen 1 body. Now I didn't have issues with the tail switch breaking off like some people did, but it would also flick on when I would holster and unholster the gun quite often. So they sent me a new body and that was about November 2023. So throw the light back on, the OKW head back on, ran with it for a little bit longer seemed to fix those issues, but then I started having issues with that OKW head. Same issues as before, not putting out the output I was expecting. I have a second PL350 on a second gun, basically identical to this one, and comparing them side by side, this one with the PLH head was still able to reach out to two, three hundred yards and give me a positive ID with the 54,000 Candela. And the OKW head was not be able to do that. So I contact them again. They send me a new head. That's about January 2024. So in the meantime, I've been having this Streamlight TR1 on this gun here. So overall, this gun's got about 8,000 rounds since October and half the time this has been on it or the first gen half time this has been on it. So today while I'm using this, which would be February 19th, I shoot a course fire, go to reholster my gun and the light has basically shifted out here. And if you look at this, you can see why that Basically, locking bar that locks it into the Picatinny rail has sheared off because there is a groove right here and it just sheared off. So it wasn't holding on versus the stream light has had no issues. And this has been on a ton of other guns. It's got way more rounds on it. So really, realistically, these both have had about the same 4,000 rounds on this gun, but now this one's had issues. This is the third issue it's had with a completely new body and head. So really, realistically with this new head, sorry, with this new body, it's been on this gun for 2000 rounds and that sheared off and came off. So I wanna like this light. I have it on this gun here, but I don't know if I can recommend it unless you're willing to have a bunch of trial and error and note that it might cause you issues. Which in my case, this is a carry gun. This is a training gun set up identical. That one doesn't have the round count on it where it's gonna shear off and have the issues this one has, hopefully. So let me know what you guys think had issues with the body, the light head. This is now the new head, new body with the PLH head versus the OKW. That has sheared off. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. If you've had a lot of rounds through it without issue, leave that. If you've had a ton of issues with it, leave it. But right now, it's hard to recommend this light when you could get a Surefire for the same price that's got a pretty dang proven track record or a stream light for half the price. That's also pretty dang durable. Thanks for watching.